Hello everyone, this is Blood Queen Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Earth Signs. Earth Signs, Capricorn Taurus of Virgo, this is your weekend reading um, for December 1st to January 1st, 2023. December 30th to January 1st, 2023. So Earth Signs, please keep in mind that the reading, it may or may not resonate with you. Some parts of the reading might resonate, other parts of the reading might not. As well, keep in mind that timing is fluid. So this reading can manifest over the weekend. It can manifest later on down the line in time. Or earth signs, this present reading could be past energy for you. If this present reading is past energy for you, then there might be answers or closure for you in this present reading that pertains to your past situation or circumstance. So um, earth signs, I did get messages for you guys during the pre-shuffle. And the first message that I got was... Um, so, Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. The first message that I got could have, could be pertaining to love and romance. Earth signs, something might be taking longer than what you expected. Or is more to the story than somebody's telling you or that you're willing to tell. So, something is either taking longer than you expected. Um, It could be more issues to resolve than you expected. Or it's more to the story than you're telling somebody or that somebody is telling telling you. So something going on concerning love and romance. The Another message that I got was um, earth signs. I don't know where you guys live at. So this could be like the climate, the atmosphere, the weather. Or this could just be like life. But I picked up the energy that coldness is good. Coldness um, kills germs. Um, so this could be an atmosphere, earth signs. I don't know if you're somewhere over the weekend and it's very cold. It might make you uncomfortable, but it's something, it could be something going on concerning the, the environment. The coldness could be killing off germs that you're unaware of. I heard coldness is good. Um, it purifies, it kills germs that can't survive in like cold environments. So it kills off, it purifies the coldness. Or, earth signs, you could be going through like a cold situation or some type of dark night of the soul. And it's for your betterment. It's better for your um, divinity. Um, like things like that. It sharpens your personality. It makes you a better person. When we go through cold experiences or some type of dark night of the soul, it's for purity, purity purposes. So some type of coldness. So it's like, it could be the coldness of just life living, um, a cold situation. Somebody could be, could be being shady towards you or you're in like a cold environment or something. Or you don't know why an, an environment is cold or something. Or you're, you don't like the fact that something is cold or something. But it's actually bringing purity in some shape, form, or fashion. So, Earth signs, I also heard it might be a need for you to view something from a higher perspective. It might be a need for you to view something or see something from a higher perspective concerning some type of coldness or something. All right. So, let me get into um, your display cards. So, for your display cards, Earth signs, I'm doing your overall energy, your oracle from this deck. I'm going to give you guys an advice card from this deck. I'm going to put your message of love concerning love and romance from this deck. And also, I'm using a dark mirror deck. Um, Earth signs. This is, um, I'm gearing this deck for the weekend deck pertaining to the new year. So, this is your dark energy or your shadow side that you're leaving behind. So, you're not bringing this energy into the new year. So, you're leaving this, whatever dark energy you was dealing with or your shadow side. This is what you're leaving behind in 2022. So that's why I'm using the Dark Mirrors deck for this weekend reading. So let me just go ahead and jump into the reading. And then we got I Won't Cry For You. So I don't know, Earth Signs, maybe you need to cry. So we're going to see what card come out for you when I get to that deck. But Earth Signs, I, I just want to say that I found it strange, but not really strange. I did the other elements. You you guys are the last element I got to do. So I did fire, I did earth, and I did water. And all the other um, dark mirror energies, the stage was acceptance. So earth signs, we're going to see what you get. We're going to see what um, 
I'll, I'll explain more when I get to that day. So me as the reader, I'm just curious to know what earth signs is going to get. And as well, I'm an earth sign myself. So I'm just curious to see the card that's going to come out. Because all the other signs got acceptance concerning their stage of their dark energy that they was dealing with in 2022. All right. So what's earth signs overall energy? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo for the weekend. And New Year's Day. What is earth signs? Oracle and overall energy. So we have Voyage. Yeah, it's coming out sideways. So um, Earth signs, you can have air in your chart or you could be dealing with an air sign. So this goes back to what I was, what I picked up on intuitively during the pre-shuffle. So this energy could be pertaining to love. It don't have to be love and romance. But Earth signs, I'm picking up something is not as uh, slow as you think it is. Because this voyage energy to me is something that's like, it takes a long time. Something that's slow and moving. So, Earth signs, you might have to protect, change your perception about something. With this voyage energy. Or Earth signs, um, something could be out of your control concerning movement. Somebody moving fast, moving slow. Something could be out of your control. I'm picking up Earth signs. You probably don't know. Um. Something might come to a standstill, too. This card coming out sideways. So, it could be different scenarios for different earth signs. I'm picking up something might come to a standstill. Earth sign, something could be out of your control. You don't understand why something is moving too fast or too slow. Or earth signs, another scenario I'm picking up is you need to, it's all in how you look at something. It's your perception of something. It's voyage energy. Something to do with traveling. Or the motion, motion, how some, how fast something is moving or how slow something is moving. So a voyage is like traveling, motion, things like that. So it's coming out sideways. So the reason why I said earth signs, you could be dealing with an air sign or you got air in your chart was because air signs, their card came out sideways. Like their oracle, their overall energy came out sideways as well. So that's why I'm saying that, that you guys could be dealing with an air sign got in your chart. So some type of voyage, some type of motion, movement, or traveling might come to a standstill or a halt or something. All right. So what's earth sign's advice for the weekend? Uh-uh. Yeah, somebody could be dealing with a Gemini or got Gemini in their chart. What's Earth Sign's um advice for the weekend? What is Earth Sign's Nope. <laughs> Not taking that. I just need one. What is Earth Sign's advice for over the weekend? Grief. Grief. So who got this? Was it fire signs? Grief or water signs? So grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. And then we got guilt at the bottom of the deck. So water signs got this. So earth signs. What I'm picking up is for your energy. Earth signs. I'm hearing was it really your loss? Was it really your loss? Because this is my card for when somebody's trying to guilt trip you. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. So, Earth sign, somebody could be trying to guilt trip you. And you're releasing it. Yeah. So, something like that. So, it's like, Earth signs. I'm hearing, did you really take a loss? I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. But I'm hearing earth signs with you guys is really not really your loss. And I'm hearing, again, perception. So earth signs, it's all in how you're viewing something. It's your perception of something. So your advice is to understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So was something really a loss? Earth signs, you only could have lost something to only learn how to appreciate it. So I'm also hearing... Who told you you wasn't going to get it back? 
So, Earth signs, you could have lost something, and you probably thought it was like forever, but you only lost something to uh, to have the opportunity to appreciate it. So, Earth signs, this this could have been your lover. Earth signs, your lover could have left you in the past, or might leave you over the weekend. But it's like, who's to say that you guys is not going to reconcile? This could be a phase. You're only losing someone or something only to appreciate it. Not to say you're not going to get this back. Because it says something. So it's not too much. Well, it could be someone too. But Earth signs, your advice is to understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So that's your advice. Some type of grief. Nothing to do with grief. All right, so um, what's Earth Science message for over the weekend and New Year's Day? What's Earth Science message of love? We have faith, yeah. So it say this is a this this is a destined partnership. So Earth Science concerning love and romance, this partner of yours could be your karmate or your twin. Whatever it is, is destined. So this is a destined partnership. Earth signs, you probably need your karmic to make you a better person. You could be getting into a relationship with your karmic. And um, you're in this relationship to teach you a lesson to make you a better person. Or earth signs, you're getting into a relationship with your twin. And it's destined. Whether it's good or bad, it's destined. And then we have support. <coughs> So, I'm hearing it again, perception. It's your perception. It's all in how you perceive in something, in something, earth signs. How you're perceiving something over the weekend. All right. So, what's earth signs, uh, dark energy or shadow side that earth signs is leaving in 2022? Oh, revenge. Yeah. So, this card came out in... Um, air signs during the pre-shuffle but air signs with air signs it came out in reverse <laughs> so earth signs you're leaving behind some type of revenge yeah and um i was just talking to somebody the other day and i was saying something about revenge and um yeah i'm gonna be quiet but um yeah, earth signs. This is your dark energy or your shadow side that you're leaving behind in 2022. So you're not, and that's a 23. Yeah. So, um, earth signs, you're leaving behind some type of revenge. You're not taking this in dark energy with you into 2023. So, yeah. So let me read what that's about earth signs. And let me see what stage you was in. And it's when you was in your dark energy or your shadow side. That's number 23. And I heard. <laughs> Earth signs. I heard. Your dark energy. 2020, 2023 is like, don't you come over here with that. <laughs> so it's like, Earth signs, your shadow side. Or your dark side. Earth signs. 20. 23 is saying, don't you come over here with that. <laughs> don't you come over here with that. I heard that. Yeah, look at this. So, Earth signs, the stage you was in when you was in your dark energy and your shadow side was anger. Your dark energy, you was in the stage of anger. So, with this deck right here, this deals with the shadow side, the dark side of humanity. Like, when we take losses, grief, it shows you the stages that a person is in when they're in their dark energy. So, earth signs, when you was in your dark energy or shadow side, you was, like, angry. This is anger. All right, so let me read it. So, with this energy, I'm going to read the sentence, and then I'm going to read the paragraph that go with this dark energy. So, the sentence is, there is no white night, but there can be a black storm woven by fallen angels going dark what if there was a place where there is no more time for words no more sense to bargain or negotiate no more survival instinct to accept fear or ponder consequences 
It's a place we can reach at the limit of our abuse. With the last spark of our dignity surging up as a powerful black flame, we cry, we hurt, and we strike. We we strike to destroy. We destroy not for ourselves because we are born. We destroy for the fairness of the world. And I was, Lord have mercy, I was going to say amen. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me stop. Come, I mean, let me read that over. We destroy not for ourselves because we are gone. We destroy for the fairness of the world. We destroy because if there is no sweet justice, there can at least be cruel revenge. We destroy for those who come who came earlier, for those who will have come later. We destroy, and as we destroy, we forsake ourselves. There is no going back because coming back from that from that requires much more than force. All right. So, Earth signs, you're leaving that in 2022. All right. So, that's probably why I picked up that purity energy. Because Cap um, Earth signs, um, whatever 2020, whatever 2023 has for you, you can't be in this energy. They're not accepting this dark energy from you any longer. So it's like earth signs, you could be getting um, purified from something and it's your dark energy. So some type of coldness could be happening or going on with you, earth signs, over the weekend. That's going to like drown out your dark, um, your shadow side. Some type of coldness. Yeah, it's going to purify you of your dark energy or your shadow side when you was in this energy. Yeah, so that's why I picked up that purity of uh, purity energy or earth signs. You think something is cold or earth signs, whatever got you in this dark energy, you felt as though it was wrong, uh, injustice happened. Um, you felt as though it was very cold. Um, whatever happened to you that put you in this energy, you felt as though an uh, injustice happened or something like that. So, yeah, something was cold, but it was actually sent to purify you, earth signs. Yeah. All right. So, let me get into the tarot. I'm only pulling two tarot cards. <sighs> Boy. Mm. All right. I would um, explain something like a personal experience I had, but I'm not. I'm not. All right. What's going on with Earth signs? Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Over the weekend, what do Earth signs need to know? You the Ace of Wands. So, Earth signs, you can have fire in your chart, or you could be dealing with a fire sign, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. So, some type of passion in the beginning. Earth signs, you could be a man, that wand. Temperance. Yeah. Yep. That's why Voyage is coming out sideways, because Temperance is here. So, Earth signs, um, Temperance. So, Earth signs, you could have Sagittarius in your chart, or you dealing with a Sagittarius. So, um, earth signs, I'm picking up, it's, ch it's time to change your perspective on something. Um, earth signs, you might want to think about this passionate new beginning. This could even be you having intercourse with someone. If you a man or earth signs, if you a female, you might want to think about having intercourse with this masculine or something or something. Somebody could be moving too fast and love and romance. Um, or earth signs, you could have been thinking about starting a passionate new beginning with someone or earth signs. If somebody wants to start a passionate new beginning with you, this ace of wands could be a peace offering or earth signs. This ace of wands could be a secret enemy. You could be being protected from this ace of wands. Somebody want to offer it to you, but it could be something shady with it or something. Because the temperance is here. And temperance could be angelic protection. 
Or that Ace of Wands is the peace offer. So it could be this angel that's giving you this Ace of Wands, this passionate beginning. It could be heaven sent. Something could be heaven sent. Um, earth signs. Yeah. Something significant could be going on for you guys on Valentine's Day as well. Because I, I had, I just, I thought those was hearts for a minute. Like, Valentine's, like, I thought those, but it's like leaves. I thought it was hearts. And then that person, like, they nail polish is like pinkish red, like Valentine's Day colors. So, um, it's like earth signs. You might meet a lover over the weekend. And you're going to be with be with this person until Valentine's Day. Or you guys are going to spend Valentine's Day together or something like that. And I also just heard this angel, this temperance could be um, Cupid. Like Cupid's arrow or something like that. So let me see what else I'm getting out of this. Or somebody need to slow down or something. But this could be divine intervention as well. Because that hand is extending out of the sky. Uh, or earth signs. Um, huh. Or earth signs. You might have um, like... I ain't going to say it because my kid's home. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. But let me, um, give me, what's the spill with the Ace of Wands? Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. So, earth signs, somebody probably thinks you're gorgeous. Earth signs, if you're a female, it's a masculine that thinks you're gorgeous. This could be your divine masculine. He thinks you're gorgeous. Um, he's uh, uh, sexually attracted to you, this masculine. He probably needs to calm down or s slow down or calm down, earth signs. This masculine, if you're a female, because this man thinks you're gorgeous, so... It's like, he he ready, been ready. <laughs> Earth signs, if y'all get my drift. Yeah. So, this could be a situation where Earth signs, say like you meet your divine masculine or whatever over the weekend. It's like, this man wants intimacy with you, but it's like, temperance might tell this man, wait a minute, ain't you married or something? Tempers could be telling his masculine to slow down or something. Because he could be married or it's something this man got to do before he approach you. Earth signs or something. What's the spell with temper? Somebody could be a Sagittarius. Um, Earth signs, your divine masculine could be a Sagittarius. Or your divine feminine could be a Sagittarius. Give me the spell with temper. Yeah, a mental prison. Someone who is trapped in their head may suffer from mental illness, self-limiting beliefs. All right. So, earth signs. Um, you could be the one in this mental prison. And temperance is trying to give you a different perspective. Like, to change your perspective about something. Or earth signs is someone that wants to offer you a passionate new beginning, work, love, a life. But this person is in a mental prison. 
So it's like earth signs. They like your lover. They want to approach you, but they're in a mental prison about something. Somebody's trapped in their head. This person may suffer from mental illness or self-limiting beliefs. Earth signs, your lover could be intimidated by you. They could feel as though you're out of their league. Your lover could fear rejection. They could be overthinking, overanalyzing the situation. And temperance might have to calm somebody down. So this doesn't have to be sexually. This could be mentally or emotionally. Somebody needs to, needs to calm down. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> so, Earth Science, I like you in a relationship with your lover. And y'all been together for a while. And your lover don't want to propose. It's like, Earth Science, what you probably don't know is that your lover has a lot of insecurities that they have to deal with. That's why temperance is here. It's like your lover wants to propose, but what, something could be going on in their mind or something. Or they're very insecure. Or something. Or somebody could be thinking about something that's not even like realistic. Earth signs, for some of y'all, I'm picking up too. Y'all could be like a little bit narcissistic, you or somebody else. Somebody could be narcissistic or earth signs. Somebody think you're a dumb blonde, whether you a male or a female. It's like earth signs. Somebody need to be careful before they approach you because they're already assuming that you could be like a dumb blonde or something. Or somebody think you're vain. Somebody feel as though you're very vain. But it's like, in all reality, earth signs, it could be this person that's very vain. So they need, somebody needs to be careful before they approach you or something. Or something. Because somebody an earth angel, earth signs, it's you or somebody else. And earth signs, I'm going to say it's you because it's a earth. So you are earth sign. So you could be an earth angel. Someone good and pure with honest intentions, kind-hearted, keeps it real. Yeah. Earth signs, for most of y'all, I'm picking up, somebody thinks you're, like, very vain or they think you're stuck up or something and it's not true. It's this person that actually got the issues. So, earth signs, I just heard your lover is jealous of you or your, your twin is jealous of you. And they need to, like, realize that or accept it. So, Earth Signs, you could be in a relationship with your twin or this person or you're not. They want to approach you, but it's like Earth Signs, your lover got issues or something. And it's like they, they don't like you or they talk junk about you, but it's really them. Like, they could be the narcissist, and they be thinking you, they think you a narcissist, or this person think you dumb or something. And this person need to be careful before they approach you. Yeah. Yeah. I heard earth signs that you might, temperance is trying to tell somebody to be careful because earth signs, I heard you're going to give this person another reason not to like you because you might say something to this person that they don't like or something, earth signs. So earth signs, I'm hearing if this is a lover, you guys are going to be enemies before you guys become friends. For some of y'all, this is like your own lover. I don't know if you was intimate with this person yet. Or this is somebody new you're going to meet over the weekend. And it's like, this person don't like you like that, Earth sign. Because they think something wrong with you, but it's really them or something. But it's like they can't stay away from you. <laughs> it's like this person can't stay away from you, but they saying you a dumb blonde or you a narcissist or something. But it's really them. 
or something like that. All right, what's the school with the Ace of Wands and Gorgeous? Yeah, sure. Yeah. The information or the situation may leave you shook. Yeah. Or earth sign. Somebody going to tell you they think you're gorgeous. And it might leave you shook. So this could be somebody. This could be a boss or somebody you didn't expect, earth sign. They think you're gorgeous. Or it could be the way this person approach you. I'm picking that up too. Earth signs. It could be the way somebody approach you and you're going to be shook. So that's why I'm hearing this person need to calm down. So, <laughs> yeah. So, earth signs. This is someone that thinks you're gorgeous. And you never thought that this person thought you was gorgeous. Or earth signs, it's something that this person going to say to you that's going to leave you shook. So, it's like earth signs. Say you a female, you dealing with a man. It's like this man going to walk up to you and say, come on, let's go in the back right now. Let's go have sex right now. And earth signs, you like, what? Now? Right now? Somebody need to calm down or something. Something like that going on. The information or the situation may leave you shook or something. Yeah. Or earth sign. Somebody talking to you like you dumb or something. Somebody talking to you like... I don't know. Somebody might insult your intelligence, earth signs, or something like that. But somebody in a mental prison... What's the school with temperance and mental prison? Or earth signs. You could be heterosexual and somebody that's like lesbian or gay might approach you. Yeah. Or something like that going on. Give me the school with temperance and mental prison. Desire. Yeah, someone is desiring you. Yeah. So, Earth signs, this could be your lover. Earth signs, your current lover, lover probably think you cheating on them or they're insecure. So, Earth signs, your lover think that someone is desiring you. Your lover could be tripping. They could be jealous. They might start an argument with you out the blue. Or earth signs, somebody desires you. And this person is in a mental prison about how to approach you. Because they, they probably feel as though you're gorgeous. Or your current lover thinks someone desires you. But they're in a mental prison or something. Or something like that. Or earth signs, your lover might get into an altercation with someone that's desiring you. And you didn't know what was going on, but you might find out after the fact. So earth signs, something might go on. Um, or something. Or your, earth signs, your lover could be very insecure or very jealous. And it's like, this is the reason why your lover won't marry you. Y'all already together, but this is the reason why they won't marry you. Because they fear somebody else is going to desire you. It's like earth signs. It's like earth signs, whether your lover is married to you or not. If somebody is going to desire you, somebody going to desire you. So, I don't know if your lover fear that if you guys get married, it's going to get worse. Like, somebody else desiring you is going to get worse. Or something. Someone is being very childish. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, Earth signs, I just heard expect the unexpected. Um... Oh, God. Somebody could be very immature. So, Earth sign, say like you a female and this man desire you. It's like Earth sign. This man going to come up to you and say, I'm going to whoop your ass. <laughs> <It's too laughs> Somebody is very childish. Instead of this man just like... um. Being like mature or saying what he got to say. It's like he going to threaten you when he really desire you or something. The information or the situation going to leave you shook. Somebody need to calm down. Or um, earth signs for some of y'all, small few of you guys. Somebody think that you have a crush on their lover or their spouse. And it's like earth signs. This person is in a mental prison. And temperance is telling this person, be careful about approaching earth signs because earth signs going to make you feel dumb. It's like earth signs. Somebody might accuse you of thinking their spouse is gorgeous. And it's like earth signs. You didn't even, you don't even know what this person's spouse look like. Or something. Somebody could be accusing you of desiring someone. And it's like, oh my God. This person is just, yeah, something like that going on. Oh, Lord. So, <clears throat> so it's like earth signs. Say like you was planning on going to a party or something with some friends. It's like earth signs. Somebody in the crowd either really likes you or somebody in the crowd got a bone to pick with you. So earth signs, something might get halted for your protection. It's like this person need more time to think about what they're going to say to you or how they're going to approach you. It's like earth signs, it's best for you and this person to be like in an open space. Say like you're at an airport over the weekend. It's best for you guys to be in an open space than to be on the airplane when this person confronts you. Because y'all in a tight space. Like something like that I'm picking up. So this could be like a air uh, flight or something getting delayed. And spirit is doing this for a reason. Maybe to get this person to say what they got to say to you. While you guys are like around more people or it's the, it, I'm picking up space. It's like you guys need more space and it could be for your protection or signs. There's a need for more space. I don't it, earth signs. If somebody got a bone to pick with you. It's like if you and this person get on an airplane or something, it's like this person is more, they're able to get the upper hand over you because y'all in a smaller space than if y'all was like out in the open, like in the actual airport. Or something like that. That's if um somebody got a bone to pick with you. For other you guys, this is somebody that's really attracted to you. And um, this person need to say what they got to say to you. Why you guys have space. I'm picking up space. I'm keep, I keep hearing that. It's, it's, the, it's something about space. So this is literally space. Or why you guys are still single or something. Space is better. Or time is better. Or spirit is trying to get this person time to get themselves together. The space and the opportunity or the time to get themselves together before they approach you. Or something like that. It's like earth signs. You don't want to go like on a road trip or be on a bus or an airplane with somebody that got an issue with you. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, something like that. Yeah, earth sign. Somebody didn't want you to know that they desire you. Or they didn't know how to tell you they desire you or something. So it's like it put them in a mental prison. <coughs> yeah, so I'm going to end it. Because that's what's going on. Something like that going on for you guys for over the weekend. So I'm picking up two scenarios and I also said it and I'm going to say it again just to wrap up the reading. Cap Earth signs for some of you guys is someone out here that's extremely physically attracted to you. And they need to temper something out before they approach you. For other you guys it's somebody that got a bone to pick with you. And this person needs to, needs to temper something before they approach you. Yeah. For those of you guys who this person got a bone to pick with you. Earth signs, this person is wrong. They're wrong. Earth signs, you're not messing around with this person's lover or you don't know who this person's lover is. It's like a false accusation. That's what basically what this is. Who, If this person got a bone to pick with you, it's a false accusation or something like that. So, earth signs, whether you a male or a female, yeah, something could be a false accusation. Somebody bringing up against you, then we got arrested. Someone may be getting arrested. Yeah. Because either way, earth signs, whether the information or the offer is good or bad, it's, the information going to leave you shook, whether it's good or bad. So, earth signs, if you a man, this could be another man that's off, that's like telling you, let's go outside, let's fight, or somebody's going to say something crazy to y'all. Yeah, or something. Yeah. Earth signs, if you a man, it might be another guy that approached your, your lover because she's gorgeous. Or earth signs, this could be your daughter or somebody crazy that's in a mental prison might approach your lover or your daughter or something. Or your mother or earth signs, if you a man, just be aware of that. It might be a crazy man that might approach a female in your life and this woman could be very gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to end it. Somebody could also be coming down off like some drugs or something when they approach somebody. Somebody could be high under the influence or something. Yeah, so earth signs over the weekend. It's like something is either going to be slowed down, halted, or earth signs, you might have to change your perception or some, of something. Yeah. Because it's like earth signs. Say like somebody walked up to you and said something rude. And it's like earth signs, you're angry, you mad. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe so-and-so said that to me. Da -da -da -da. It's like earth signs. Have you thought that it's a possibility that this person actually likes you or something? Or something. Earth signs. Because it's like earth signs. You could be so offended. By whatever this person say. That's kind of like childish. That you're not looking at it. As this person being immature. 
you just thinking that this person don't like you or something, or they trying to start an issue with you or something, but this person could just really be immature or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, we got new job, you're hired. You got the job. Yeah. So, earth signs, whether you're a male or a female, your lover, you guys are going to um, get into it before y'all become friends or become lovers. This is going to start off, start off just all the way bad. This is going to be bad. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> But Earth side, this is a destined partnership. <laughs> your lover could just be very immature. Or Earth signs, you're immature. And you could be taking something the wrong way. Yeah, somebody immature. But somebody desires somebody. Yeah, so. Or Earth signs, don't have sex with this woman. Because she need more time. She could be very immature. Earth signs, this could be your twin. I just heard that song. Um, What is that song? Um, Who sing that song? Is it too short? I want to talk to a one Because her mind is more steady. So here we go. Something. Yeah. Earth signs, your twin. It's like she could be your age, but... She like immature. And she pretty, but she's like, this woman ain't got no sense. Or something like that. <laughs> Somebody needs more time or something. Temperance is here. Or something. So, so Earth signs, that's what's going on. So, that's what you can expect for over the weekend and or New Year's Day. Yeah, we got kicked out coming out in reverse. <laughs> yeah. So, Earth Signs, I don't know if you want to break up with your lover or kick your lover out. Or, I don't know if somebody attempted to call for help. Or, y'all can be on the airplane and somebody like, help, stop the airplane or something. But it's like, it's not going to happen because somebody want to kick somebody out the house or something. But somebody need to stop and think. Somebody could be taking something the wrong way or something. Or earth signs, you want to kick your lover out the house, or but you not or something. Yeah, something. Yeah, so. <clears throat> or earth signs, it could be a lover that could be returning to you. And you kick this person out. Or So earth signs in the past. You kicked your lover out. And earth signs, your lover want to return. But they're in a mental prison. Because the last time y'all was together, y'all got into it. And y'all kicked your, you kicked your lover out. So earth signs, this time around over the weekend... Your lover might do something similar to you than what they did to you in the past, but you're not going to kick them out. It's like, Earth signs, you could be accepting the fact that your lover could just be immature. They're your twin, but your lover could just be immature or something. They got mental health issues or something. Or they're very jealous or insecure. So, Earth signs, you kicked your lover out the house in the past, but you might not do it over the weekend. But this person is still, like, immature. Or something. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, did I just shuffle the deck? Submerged emotions. <laughs> Someone's feelings run really deep, but they are <laughs> So, Earth signs, I'm also picking up. You think something is crazy, Earth signs. It's like Earth signs. This person is your twin, and it's like you use your twin for like a science project. Earth signs. If you a man, you can't believe this woman is so pretty and so dumb. <laughs> so, 
So it's like, Earth signs, you kind of like didn't break up with this person yet out of curiosity. It's like, Earth signs, you like, I ain't never see. Wait a minute. I'm going to give so-and-so the benefit of the doubt. Let me try to figure out what this is. Or something. <laughs> something like that going on. Earth signs, especially if you a Capricorn, it's like, it's like earth signs. You like using your love at like a science project or something. Cause you can't believe this person. Is <laughs> and that's the only reason why you ain't like just totally leave this person behind. And temperance is in. Temperance, um, earth signs, temperance might tell you to be patient with somebody or something. Yeah. So, um, this is Blood Queen Taylor. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and or share. And, um, earth signs, enjoy the weekend and have a, um, safe holiday. And a happy new year. And then we got blackmail. Someone could be getting blackmail. <sighs> Earth signs. I'm also picking up. Somebody around you is like getting blackmail. Or somebody's getting bullied. But it's like earth signs. Instead of this person telling you this. They like harass you. But it's like earth signs. You... Yeah, it's like earth signs. Somebody is getting bullied or something. And it's like earth signs. This person, when they come in your energy, their bully stops bullying them. But it's like earth signs. This person be trying to bully you. But it's like earth signs. You don't, it's like, this is dumb. It's childish. So it's like earth signs. Somebody could be scared of you. Maybe this person want to know what it is about you, Earth Signs, that their bully is scared of. But this person won't bring must up the nerve, Earth Signs, to tell you that they're getting bullied. So what they do is come bully you. Instead of telling you they're getting bullied and their bully is scared of you, this person want to know why is their bully scared of you and not them. Somebody getting blackmailed. Something, yeah, somebody being immature about something. So maybe this person could be turning something into a science project or something. <laughs> it's like this person getting bullied and they trying to figure out why their bully is scared of you. Because um, Earth signs, this person think you're a dumb blonde or something. So this person like, why is so-and-so bothering me and not bothering Earth signs? I thought Earth signs was the dumb blonde <laughs> or something. Or something. Yeah, somebody getting blackmailed. But Earth Signs, I don't think it's you. <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah. Earth Signs, someone could be obsessed with you too. <laughs> somebody trying to figure something out. So, Earth Signs, it's either you or somebody else. But it's like I'm hearing somebody turning something into like a project or somebody is trying to figure out why something is is the way it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. So. Again, Earth signs, enjoy the weekend and, and enjoy the holiday and or the new year and thanks.